Hey, what's up guys? We're going to be doing a quick opening today of uh, Destiny Soldiers. Um, it's been a while since this came out, but uh, I just recently was able to get one, so let's just not waste any more time and see what we get. Alright, so pretty much out of this, I'm trying to build our Dark Lords, and uh, I'm actually pretty much trying to build every single deck from what's in here. So the Abyss Actors, I'm looking forward to. I'm um, looking forward to Dark Lords and uh, even the Destiny Heroes. So there's only five cards per pack. Um, but I believe there is uh, four supers and one secret in every deck. So a Lure of Darkness, a great reprint. Uh, so some Abyss Actors, Destiny Heroes, uh, Advanced Draw. And uh, there we go, a Dark Lord Morning Star for our first secret. Alright, sounds good. Let's set that aside. Um, pretty much, I'm hoping to get all the Dark Lords. So let's just see what we can find in here. So, some more Abyss Actors. Uh, here's Funky Comedian, Dark Lord Asmodeus, an old reprint. Uh, Valhalla, a really good card actually. And we have a Tezcat Lipoka. So, here's our second one. Not bad. Sounds good. Um, let's see what else. If you guys don't know, um, Dark Lord Ixchel is currently at $60 right now, so... Let's see, there's Diamond Dude, A Lure of Darkness, nice, our second one. Dark Membel, and a Dark Lord Amdus, nice. Alright, cool. Alright, let's see what else we can get. Escape from the Dark Dimension, a really good reprint here. Uh, another Asmodeus, Abyss Script, Beginning of the End, an interesting reprint. And then we have Banishment of Dark Lords. Real nice. Cool. Alright, next one. Alright, so in here we have Prometheus, King of the Shadows. Uh, Malicious, really nice reprint there. Um, Eder Ari, so a reprint. Destiny Draw, again, another really good reprint, and Dark Lord Contract. So, so far we've gotten five contracts, I mean five Dark Lords in a row, which is really nice. So, let's continue. Arch Lord Christia, another great reprint. Uh, Creeping Darkness, uh, Second Malicious, really nice. Dark Man Bell, and a Dark Lord Rebellion, nice. I mean, if we keep this up, we're going to get all the Dark Lord cards for sure. Alright, let's see. A sassy rookie, really nice. Um, definitely looking forward to building uh, Abyss Actors and a Destiny Hero Dynatag and a Dark Lord Enchantment. Wow, we've been getting a lot of Dark Lord cards. Quite nice, actually. Alright, Destiny Draw. A Nurse Reficule uh, reprinted as a Dark Lord, so they changed the name so that it would work. No one's really playing it anyway. Another Dark Lord Morningstar, so here's our first uh, duplicate. Still haven't got the um, Ixchel and the uh, Nastin yet, which are pretty much the high-end cards here. A Destiny Hero Plasma, good reprint, and uh, another Tez, so that's not bad. Alright, cool. see what's in here. Um, uh, Doomsday Horror. Fires of Doomsday, interesting reprint. Uh, Destiny in Dragoon is a really good reprint. Uh, Destiny Hero Dynatag and a Destiny Hero Decider. Alright, there we go. Our first uh, secret Destiny Hero. Not bad. And I think uh, Destiny, Hero, uh, Destiny Hero Celestial, I think, is going for 15 right now as well. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, Trade-ins, always good. Escape from the Dark Dimension, really nice. And a Destiny Hero Dystopia, really nice. Awesome. Really looking forward to building our Destiny Heroes as well. I mean, this set is really amazing. I mean, with the cards you can get from this, it's a lot of value here. Despite the fact that it's already been out for a month. So we have our Destiny Hero Dark Angel. Nice. 
There's uh, several OTKs going about with uh, Dark Angel. So let's move on to the second side of the box and uh, see what we can get. All right. Dark Lord Marie uh, changed the name to Dark Lord so that it would work with the deck. Uh, there we go, a Destiny Hero Celestial, just when we were talking about it. So, really nice card, actually. Um, hopefully I can get another one. Alrighty. We have uh, the Abyss, Act Abyss Scripts, which are really interesting. The deck is uh, really nice, actually. Lots of variants of it. And finally, we got our Dark Lord Ixchel. So, this is pretty much going for $60 right now in Australia. So, a really good card to get in this box. I'm pretty sure it's guaranteed, but I have heard that some people bought, like, six boxes and only managed to get, like, three Ixchels out of, like, the six boxes they get, which is surprising. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, they couldn't get anything. Hopefully, we can get uh, more Ixchels. And there we go, a Nastin. Uh, pretty much a $30 card here. Alright, so got cut off there, uh, let's just continue on, and uh, Destiny Signal, Dark Hole, and Abyss Actor Superstar, awesome, really nice, uh, definitely playing like maybe three of those in a deck, it's the main card that pretty much sets your Abyss scripts into the spell and trap zone, ready for you to use, uh, Dark Lord Superbia, great reprint, Sassy Rookie, and uh, Abyss Actor Leading Lady, Nice. Alright, so we're seeing less Dark Lords and heading more into the Abyss Actors. Alright, let's see what else we can get here. Starting to get a little repetitive, so... Uh, Destiny Hero Drill Dark, our first one. And we have a Abyss Actor Wild Hope. So basically he can increase the other scale to like a 9. That way you can bring out your, your Abyss Actor... What do you call it? Evil Heal. So, let's see what else we can get here. Over Destiny, Sassy Rookie, Fires of Doomsday, uh, Adder Ari, and Rise of the Abyss King. Really nice. Uh, good good secret, actually. And pretty much most Abyss actor decks only play that Abyss script. I don't know why. Um, mainly because others aren't too impressive. Uh, so let's see what else we can get here. And a D cubed. Um, pretty interesting as a secret rare. Um, I don't know. I, I felt like there was better options for secrets. Alright, let's see. Dark Lord Zerato. Uh, great reprint. A Law of Darkness. Really nice. Drill Dark again. A Dark Lord Nurse Reficule. And a D fusion as our secret. Really nice. Alright, so we got three more packs left. Um, I pretty much just adjusted the lighting here, so hopefully it's a little better for you guys to see. Um, but I have been telling you guys what the cards were, so hopefully you guys got it all. Um, so there's more Abyss scripts here. Nice. Uh, a third Malicious, I think. So we got our playset, really nice. A Plasma, and there we go, the Abyss Actor Evil Heal. Basically, it's a level 8, so... Our higher scale is only 8, so we can't even Pendulum Summon him, but luckily with uh, Abyss Actor Wild Hope, we can. Alrighty. Let's see what we get here. Superbia, Diamond Dude, Doomsday Horror, uh, Abyss Actor Extras, and a second Superstar. Nice. Uh, perhaps we'll end things off with a Dark Lord card, so let's see what we can get. I'm pretty sure we already got every secret, um, but we'll find out what we can get here. Alrighty, a Dark Hole and a Leading Lady. Alright, so that's not too bad. Uh, maybe let's do a quick recap to see. Alright, so for a recap, uh, we have Destiny Heroes. We have uh, one Destiny Hero Dystopia. We have one Celestia, uh, Celestial, one Decider a Dark Angel, and also a D-Cubed, and D-Fusion. So that's pretty much one copy of all the Destiny Hero cards. Um, then we have our Abyss Actors. We pretty much have... Um, we got two superstars, which is really nice. We also have um, 
two of the leading ladies, and we have one of the Wild Hope and one Evil Heal, which is pretty nice, and also one of the Rise of the Abyss King. Um, so pretty much one box will guarantee you a copy of everything there. And as for Dark Lords, let's see what we can get for Dark Lords. We have uh, one Ixchul and one Nastin. So that's really nice there. We also have one Amdusk. We did get two Morningstar and two of the Tez. And um, for our spells and traps, we got pretty much got one of each. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this box. It's pretty interesting to see uh, because now you guys can have a perspective of pretty much uh, what cards you can get out of here. Um, I'm planning to get more boxes of these because if one box guarantees you a copy of everything, then getting three boxes is definitely worth it. And considering the price of Ixchul and Nastin alone, they both already make up the price of the box and everything else is just additional to that. So it's really nice there. Um, but in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time.